Good afternoon, Trailblazers. I'm Alyssa Young with the Vanguard TV. Have you tried Andy's frozen custard? Christina Emanuel has the scoop. Hey, Trailblazers. It's Christina Emanuel with Vanguard TV. Let's get into the world of custard. Andy's Frozen Custard first opened in Frisco, Texas in 2016 when we first opened the school. Now we have our very own LT students working there as well. LT students have been working at Andy's to help gain some skills in the fast food industry. From this, students can learn how to be professional and gain skills to multitask. Uh, I've been working at Andy's for about five, six months. Well, usually I just try to communicate with my boss and tell him, you know, hey, maybe I can't work these days and like these days because, you know, school and uh, football practice and all that. So I kind of, you know, communicate with uh, the management and they're like, okay, and they understand. Usually they're very understanding. I've worked at Andy's for about three to four months, something like that. At Andy's, they let you choose your hours through an app that they have. It's nice and easy. It makes uh, balancing school and work really easy. Andy's Frozen Custard has always been fanatical about frozen custard and has been serving it ever since March 19, 1986. Students were asked how they enjoyed their experience at Andy's. Honestly, how busy it gets. It's pretty intense, but like a lot of like meeting new people people and cultures because like Frisco is a very diverse town and so usually a lot of people come they're confused but then we help them out and it's just meeting new people as a whole deal. My favorite part of working at Andy's is honestly all the people I get to talk to it makes it so much fun it makes it totally worth it. Um, I know a lot of people there and they're a lot of fun to just spend time with. With Vanguard TV this is Christine Emanuel. Hi Trailblazers, this is Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. Earlier this month, Lebanon Trail held its annual club fair. The club fair was very lively. A lot of people were yelling at each other and people were like promoting their clubs. It was really fun. There were like a bunch of stands set up and we all got to see what the school had to offer. Yeah, there were a lot of other clubs that caught my attention because they just seemed really interesting and I'd never seen those types of clubs before. Um, there, there was a lot of foreign language clubs. Uh, there was a dance club. Uh, that one of my friends was doing and another one of my friends made a film club of his own that he started so that was pretty cool. Um, I saw our pride club you should join um, and there is the welcome club which made bags for veterans and did service projects. They were all like they all had like presentations and there's so many so. This year it was more organized more centralized so we could all see the different clubs in one location? Um, it's kind of hard because you have to get all the approvals and then after you start the club you have to like organize out all the meetings and stuff but it's fun so it's worth it. <laughs> um, I joined uh, the ITS Drama Club because uh, I just love doing theater and it's a big fun project where we get to hang out with all of our friends and it's really fun. Um, I'm planning to join DECA, Student Council, my own club and UIL maybe. We created a Remind and then we kind of just use spread of word to get people to join our club. Well, we dressed up in our official FFA jackets because I'm representing the FFA. And we described and rehearsed what we would say to people when they come to our booth. Um, being in ITS um, is a lot of fun because if you are in certain shows for theater, then you get a certain amount of points, which can lead up to getting a letterman and certain tassels for when you graduate. And you can go to a thespian convention and possibly audition to get into colleges and scholarships and all that. My club is the Chinese Community Club. And basically, it's supposed to spread like awareness of Chinese culture. And if you're interested in learning about it, you can join. And we're just going to have fun in that club. So, yeah. This has been Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. We checked in with the volleyball team and they're doing pretty well this season. They're seventh overall in the state and they're tied for first in the district with Reedy. We also checked in with the football team and they're making progress this season with a record of one and three in their first varsity season. Uh, well, I'm just ready, you know, to face some real competition. You know, junior varsity, the junior varsity level and the freshman level, we're just kind of just playing against people. I definitely think that after the first game, after we won, we came into the second game like. Uh, like nobody could beat us, like we just came in too cocky. I just think we need to uh, take the the same mindset throughout the season that we're gonna that we're only 
Like, we only have juniors and sophomores on the team, and we're going to be playing people a lot bigger and stronger than us. So I just think we need to come into every game humble and, uh, you know, just knowing that we're going to do good. Uh, well, most definitely I've had to change my way of eating. I've had to eat a lot more, had to cut out all, like, the fatty stuff I used to eat, you know, uh, with varsity football. It's just that, like, you have to be big, you have to be strong. If you're not, then you're just not going to survive out there on the field. Uh, well, I'm just ready, you know, to face some real competition. You know, junior varsity, the junior varsity level and the freshman level is kind of just playing against people that, you know, you know, like freshmen, you had, like if, if you weren't that good, you were going to stay on freshman. Like, so you just have to play people kind of like the same as you. But I've been eager and waiting for that next level of varsity competition. Overall, all our Trailblazer sports teams are progressing as they go further in this season. Good luck, guys. Hello Blazers, this is Kelsey Burdick with LT Trivia. Each broadcast, we will present a trivia question for your chance to win a prize. Last week, Drake's In My Feelings hit its ninth week as the number one spot on Billboard's Top 100. What was the last song by Drake to hit this number one spot back in April of this year? To enter, scan the QR code or go to our website, lthsvanguard.com, and complete the Google form. Congratulations to Christopher Min, who won our last trivia contest. Christopher will receive two free Andy's Concretes. That concludes our broadcast, Trailblazers. If you have a story or segment idea, go to lthsvanguard.com. Now enjoy the highlights of forthcoming, edited by Julie Lyon.